welcome to another episode of To The Point Tutorials, a series that bypasses all the fluff and focuses on what you really want to know. Let's begin. I'm going to tell you how to create a QR code. It's pretty simple and it's a great way for you to share information with your students. So I have here my, my drive from my Google Drive and I decided once upon a time when I was uh, an instructor to create an infographics uh, based syllabus. And in order to disseminate this file, I went for the QR code approach. So the first thing that you need to do is to actually put the file you want to share inside your Google Drive or host it in a place that creates a link. I do it because um, when you host it in a place that creates a link, normally the students will be able to easily download the file that you want to share. Um, so let's begin. You go online and there's a myriad of options where to create QR codes. The one that I'm using right now is the qrcodegenerator.com. This has a very simple graphic user interface and you have several options over here on how your QR code is going to look once you finalize it. Uh, I'm going to go with the simple version here um, and back to the Google Drive. So as I said previously, we need to generate a link. Uh, my um, syllabus is here. I'm going to right click it and get the link option. Once I get the link option, I want to make sure that anyone with a link can view it or download it. And so then I press copy link and done. I go back to my QR code generator website and I will paste my code by doing uh, command V or edit paste uh, or control paste if you're using a, uh, a PC control V I mean uh, once this is done I will go with the basic frame and press download to get a JPEG this will take a little bit of time it says on top that um, your QR code is being generated right now please do not refresh or exit and so if we go down to the bottom left corner we see a um, little frame here and I'm just gonna preview it and as you can see your uh, QR code has been generated now you can do what I did and basically put back your QR code in your drive generate a link and send it to your students or you can actually paste this image uh, pretty much wherever you want the students to see this image. Um, I would suggest you to put, for example, in your uh, Moodle page, but it could be done also in your slides and have a similar effect. Um, that's about it. I hope that you enjoyed your tutorial. Thank you very much. See you next episode.